I'm back again with another book. This is Bossy Flossy, and it's by Paulette Bogan. She's the one that wrote the book, and she also drew the pictures. Flossy was bossy. When you see a bubble like this and it's got a line going somewhere, it means that's what the person is saying. She says, sit up straight. Look at me. Listen to me. Pay attention. Do what I tell you. She's talking to all her stuffed animals. She was bossy to her cat. This is what she says to her cat. Come back here. I'm talking to you, mister. She was bossy with her little brother. She tells him, you should do it like this. One time, she was even bossy to her mother. No, you go to your room. Uh-oh. Flossie went to her room. She's talking to her stuffed animals again. She says, I'm not bossy. Mom is bossy. She always tells me what to do. She never listens to me. I'm just trying to tell her something. She was bossy to the lunch lady. She says, put my potatoes on this side, not that plate. Or put my potatoes on this plate, not that plate. One time, she was even bossy to her teacher. No, Mrs. Rosado, you go to timeout. Another uh-oh. Flossie went to timeout, and these are the things that she's saying to herself. She said, I'm not bossy, Mrs. Rosado is bossy. She always tells everyone what to do. They do what she tells them. Why don't they do what I tell them? No one ever listens to me. Then Flossie met Edward. I'm Edward, she says. I'm Flossie. Edward was bossy to everyone. Climb like this. Line up here. Those are the things he's saying. Now he's saying, swing like me. Edward was even bossy to Flossie. He says, walk faster. And he says, now jump. He says, no more jumping. Time to march. Look at that face. She's getting upset because he's being bossy. Flossie and Edward argued all through art class. Let's see, here's... Edward, he's saying, I'm not bossing you. Flossie says, yes, you are. Edward says, listen to me. Flossie said, no, you listen to me. And at nap time, he says, you never listen. She says, no, you never listen. And then they both say at the same time, I'm trying to tell you something. Okay, Edward and Flossie went to time out, and Edward's saying all these things. I'm not bossy, she's bossy. It's her fault. She should just listen to me. And then he says, I don't like it when you tell me what to do. And then she's saying, I'm not bossy, he's bossy. It's his fault. He should just listen to me. Remember, these bubbles are saying that she's saying these words. Well, I don't like it when you tell me what to do. Do you think other people like it when she tells them what to do? Well, Edward says, well, I'll stop it if you'll stop it. And she says, okay, I'll stop it if you stop it.
Now Flossie and Edward are not so bossy. Can I show you how to do that? And Edward says, good climbing. I could show you another way. See, that sounds a lot nicer than don't do it that way. Doesn't it? And here he's saying, marching is good. And Flossie's saying, jumping is good too. But they're not bossing the other kids. They're just suggesting other ways to do things. And now Flossie's saying, your turn next, Edward. So she's sharing. Except sometimes. See, these over here are the ones that Edward's saying, and these are the ones that Flossie is saying. He's saying, you can be pretty bossy. And she says, I know, you can be bossy too. He says, well, not as bossy as you. And she says, I think you might be bossier. And he says, uh-oh, uh-uh, I don't think so. And she says, I double think so. And then he says, well, I triple don't think so. This kind of book is called a graphic novel when it shows what people are saying or thinking. It has, like here, it has the bubble and it's got words in the middle, but it points down to the person that is saying this. And we've got lots of graphic novels up here. Um, so if you're interested in reading graphic novels, come up here and get a book or have your parents come up and get one. But I'll see you next week. Thank you.